end up this morning safe safe stands for affirming family environment it's a houston group that's establishing welcoming and affirming safe spots and safe houses that help teens and young adults joining me this morning to talk more about it jason warner safe's executive director and the brainstormer of all of this in this fabulous uh, organization good morning to good you good morning how are you you have come so far jason let's talk about where you were back in 1998 well 1998 i found myself homeless and it was through the generosity of a man that i met who said, he said, if you work for me in, as an administrative assistant, I will give you an apartment to live in. And years later, it's always been a dream of mine to help other young adults who found themselves in a situation, particularly those aging out of foster care, who have little to no family support when they age out, or those who find themselves homeless, uh, to have that same opportunity of seeing them transition to independent living. And that's really what the organization is about, is to offer them uh, job opportunities. We're launching a new job center program uh, where we're going to be working with these, and it can be youth or young adults, so it can be any age from 14 to 24. And um, the 13 to 18 is peer support, so we're a peer support group for those youth. And then 18 to 24, uh, we actually help with the jobs and we help with the housing program. Mm -hmm. That is such a difficult age too when you're talking about these younger kids and even the teenagers who are, who are going into young adults. Mm -hmm. it's, it's tough enough as it is when you're in the home and you have a lot of family support. But to be out there on your own, perhaps in a foster family, like you mm -hmm. said, aging out, it couldn't be any more difficult. How are you finding these people? How, because it's so important for people to know about you. So I'm glad you're here to talk about it. Well, it's I mean, when we opened our doors, we opened our doors in January and in the last eight months we've housed, we've been able to help house 27 clients. We've seen five enlist in the military and we've helped them get their diplomas so that they could enlist. And then we've also seen three that are actually starting HCC this fall. And so when we opened the doors, we had no idea what to expect. And we kind of had the same question of how are they going to find us? Are they going to find us? Mm -hmm. And we opened our doors in January and we had in the last eight months, close to 400 people, come th young, young people come through our doors. They found you. They found us. And the need is so great. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we, we see a lot of these, cl these clients, um, these, I like to, we can't call them kids, but these mm -hmm. clients, um, they come into us and we hear their stories. So many of them have been in the foster care system. Um, at 18, they age out and, you know, they really have very little, they've had very little mentorship, especially if they've come from a group home. Um, so there's very little that they've experienced to help guide them along their way. So that's really, we're actually re just relocated to a new position, or to a new location mm -hmm. at Hillcroft and Westheimer. And that's going to help you help even more people, isn't it? Because yes. I understand that you're really expanding. You're going to yes. have a lot more space to do that. Yeah, we're launching a much larger job center, uh, which we're going to be able to, we're actually going to assign an advocate, which is a mentor to each client that comes in. The clients have to come in, they go through an intake and assessment, and we really see if this is a good fit for our program, then they have to actually attend some classes to show their commitment. And then once we see their commitment, then they are accepted into our program, and that begins their job center program and their also mentoring program. And if they need housing, we're also working with them in the housing area as well. So you're making a huge difference in these lives and making it just, just changing their lives, I'm sure, to give them the support that they haven't had their entire lives. Let's talk about how people do find you, the ones who, who perhaps might be listening right now and say that I know somebody who could benefit. Well, our website, of course, is the key. It's safehouseforall.org. And then we also have specifically um, the job center and the mentoring program is called the Safe Spot. So the Safe Spot is kind of what houses the programming um, and Safe is the overall organization. So you can also visit the thesafespothouston.com. And our vision is to establish safe spots for other youth and young adults around the country and um, really just watch this whole demographic, you know, have this assistance. Well, we will make sure that we put a link on myfoxhouston.com to all of those that you just mentioned. Make sure that people can find you even more easily. And I just have to tell you, I think you're so brave to, to be able to talk about how far you've come and then to do something about it to help others. So Thank congratulations you. to you. And I, I just hope that you continue to help people every day. Thank you so much. Get to talk to you, Jason. Thank you.